Hello everyone. My name is Akanksha Rakesh and I'm a product manager at Microsoft. And today is another installment in the series that we are doing to introduce SharePoint Embedded that is currently in public preview. In this talk, I'm going to go a little bit into how billing works for SharePoint Embedded, what are the billing meters and different billing models that the product supports. I'll first take you through some concepts in the presentation and then dive deep into the demo to set up a billable SharePoint Embedded application. With that, I'll get right into it. If you haven't yet come across SharePoint Embedded, let me just take some time to do a quick recap. SharePoint Embedded is an app API only headless version of SharePoint for your custom applications. SharePoint Embedded creates a dedicated partitioning within your M365 tenant to store files and documents. And because of that, you get a lot of features and capabilities that come with M365, such as content management, security and compliance, file experiences in your app. Everything is content AI ready and is all powered by Microsoft Graph API. Now let's do a quick review of some of the tools and concepts that will help understand billing for SharePoint Embedded. We will start with a tenant where the development of the SharePoint Embedded application happens. This tenant is a developer tenant, and it could be owned by an ISV who wants to build an app to sell to the customers or an organization that just wants to build a line of business app. To set up a billable SharePoint embedded application, the developer admin in this developer tenant will create a billing profile, which consists of a subscription and resource group in Azure portal. This capability of creating subscription and resource group is already present in Azure portal and is very familiar to folks who work with Azure a lot. Subscription is what is usually associated with the credit card and resource group is just a logical grouping for all the Azure resources. Now the developer admin will create a multi-tenant SharePoint embedded application in Microsoft Entra. That will allow the app to be served to multiple customers using a single instance of the app. With the subscription resource group and app created, the developer admin can now create a SharePoint embedded container type. What is a container type? It has mainly two roles. When the customer uses this SharePoint embedded apps and creates containers to store, store con contents like files and videos and documents, these containers are associated with this container type. And the container type links these containers to the Azure subscription that I just talked about. It also associates containers with the Microsoft Entra application. A container type can be owned by only one application. Now that the container type is created, it's ready to be registered to the consuming tenants of the users on the tenants that where the users are going to use this application. The users of this tenants can now create containers and store content uh, in the containers. Now that we talked about who is creating the app and the consuming tenant that is using the app, let's talk about billing. SharePoint Embedded is a pay-as-you-go consumption-based billing product. That is, you pay for what you use. It is outside of the M365 entitlement. And as we just saw, it integrates with the existing Azure billing portal for cost and invoice management. And the existing Azure billing portal already comes with a lot of management tooling. The portal provides extensive tools in place and granular controls by application or container type or tenants or regions to help you manage and understand the cost more efficiently. So what does consumption comprise of? The consumption is based of three meters for SharePoint embedded. Storage, that is how much data in GB you store in the SharePoint embedded application. Graph API transactions and the data that is egressed while using these uh, SharePoint embedded application. So we talked about how and what is built. Now let's talk about who is built. I'll talk about the two models that we have going. 
as of today, we have a ISV or developer billing model. This is where the organization that is building the SharePoint embedded application and the container type, again, could be an ISV building an app for customers or a line of business uh, or an organization building line of business app. Here, that tenant, the tenant building the application, gets the invoices from Microsoft based on the usage of the application and manages the costs and payments in the Azure portal. But we've heard from a lot of customers that they want uh, flexibility. To support that, we are also working on a second billing model where the customer who is using the SharePoint embedded application is the one that manages the cost and invoicing and pays for the usage in Azure portal. This model will be available very soon. With that, let me demo the current developer or ISV-led billing model where a dev admin can set up a billable SPE app and can see the costs in the Azure billing portal. As I had just mentioned that before creating a SharePoint embedded um, container type, the developer admin, uh, which is the role I'm playing currently, uh, who wants to develop the app will set up a subscription and resource group. So I am in Azure Billing Portal currently. I already have subscription created. And if you are aware of this portal, you can create new subscriptions using the add functionality in this uh, subscription page. This subscription is already associated with my credit card. I gotcha. also sorry to interrupt you. Can I zoom yeah. in a bit? It's it's really very really yeah, small for absolutely. Excellent. Thank you. Brilliant. Is it better? Yeah, much better. Thank, Thank you. you. Awesome. So I also have resource group created here. Um, I have two right now that are associated with my Contoso Prod subscription I just showed. I will use Prod resources for uh, the uh, for this demo. Again, you can create new resources using the create feature here for resource group. This resource group is created in the location East US. Uh, this is just for the resource group itself. It has nothing to do with where your SharePoint embedded application itself is created. Once I have the subscription and resource group, I'm going to go into the Entra, Microsoft Entra, and I'll show you the app that I have created. This is the SharePoint embedded app. I want to use and associate my container type to. I have already created, created a multi-tenant app called Contoso Audit Pro, and I have the application ID right here. But if you do not have an app, you can create an app registration here using the new registration and create a multi-tenant app using this process. Let's go back to now creating a container type that can be built to the developing tenant. For that, I will use my SharePoint PowerShell. I have updated the latest version of SharePoint PowerShell here, and let's make sure that I am still connected to SharePoint PowerShell. So I will log in as the admin to the tenant where I want to create the container type for the application. I'm logging in as an admin, and this is a SharePoint uh, admin, or you can also log in as a global administrator. Now to create a new container type, the new the PowerShell commandlet that you will use is new SPO container type. This commandlet will create a new container type with container type name. I will just give it as can. So, so audit and this is where now I'm associating my container type with the app ID. So it's asking me the owning application ID I want to associate with. Let me quickly grab the application ID that I had just created here. The next thing it will ask me is for Azure subscription ID. So you see how it's linking the container type, the application ID with Azure subscription ID. 
So I'm go going to go to the Azure subscription ID here and grab this as well. And the next thing it will ask me is for resource group. I had fraud resources. I will just make sure that is the correct one. Yeah, the prod resources. And I use the same location. Region as East US again. Uh, this is just a region for where the resources are created and not where your containers or files will be located within the SharePoint embedded app. I will say yes to creating or performing this action. And this will create a new billable container type which can now be registered in the consuming tenants for the customers to use and start creating containers and start loading and uploading files, sharing and performing all the actions that they want. I just want to make sure that this container type is present and if there are any other container types that exist in my tenant that I may have created using the get SPO container type and you will see all the container types that exist or that the developer tenant, the tenant that is creating the app has created. You will notice, as I had mentioned, that one application can have one container type. So all these three different container types are associated with three different applications. Since these are brand new container types, I do not have usage reports, but let me take you through Azure Billing Portal to quickly see what the usage report looks like for a container type. I am back in the Azure portal. I will now go to cost management. Uh, this is a, um, a billing profile that I already had uh, created and we had some usage going on here. I will go to cost analysis. And let's see what the cost looks like for my last seven days of usage. So here, you can see the cost uh, for this particular subscription, which has a SharePoint embedded billable app uh, associated with it. I'll add some filters. As I had said, um, this provides um, capability to uh, drill down by app ID. So I can see by the three different app IDs that I had created or container type ID or the tenant ID. It's really useful for an app that is being used on different tenants by the, by the consuming uh, users. So for here, just for an example, I will use the container type ID that I had created through PowerShell. And you can drill down into the, the, the actual and forecasted call, uh, cost using this tool right here. Further drills, again, available through service name. You can also go through and check by meter. So you can set up how you want to see your cost, the consumption of your application here. I have also set a budget here for this uh, for this billing profile, uh, named it Budget Frugal, uh, and made sure that I'm getting uh, notified whenever my budget is crossed so that it helps me better manage my um, app, SharePoint embedded application. So you'll notice if you if you know this, um, this tool that um, SharePoint embedded has uh, integrated with Azure portal seamlessly and used all the capabilities that the Azure billing portal provides uh, and, and provides more granular control over your cost and billing management. With that, if you are uh, ready to uh, try and you create a billable container type, we have a lot of uh, documentation present online, and you can also start using our VS Code ex extension to create containers. Thank you, everyone.